for all those people that are all smartened up talking kids, Arnie and K-Fizz, eh? <laughs> And they know what's going on. What you gonna do when Board and Ride runs wild on you, brother? Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV, the longest running biker TV show in the world. It's time, time, a milestone of epic proportion. It's the life and times of motorcycles and the people who ride them. And those people are you, the biker community. And now this. So we started Born to Ride 25 years ago, 1995. Now it's 2000. 21. Let me put some things in perspective for you of other shows and what they've produced. One of my favorite shows, Shark Tank, they've got 199. Famous show Star Trek did 79. The Simpsons are at 639. Another favorite is The Twilight Zone, 156. How about MASH? What do you think MASH has done? MASH has produced 251. Another show that seemed like it ran forever was America's Most Wanted. What do you you think they did 941 Monday Night Football are you wondering 700 and one of my all-time favorite shows it just seems like it's gone on and on and on is bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when they come for you that's right I'm talking about cops and they're at 1100 so on the show today what are we gonna do nothing different than we have been doing delivering and producing born to ride it's about you the biker community we want to tell you your stories. So stay tuned. We've got really something special for you of Born to Ride TV. to Ride is sponsored in part by Rubenstein Law, 1-800-FL-LEGAL, representing riders since 1988. Offices throughout Florida, 1-800-FL-LEGAL. Hi, I'm attorney Robert Rubenstein, and this is Rubenstein's Rules for Personal Injury. Rule number one, get an attorney. When you or a loved one have been injured by another's negligence, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. At Rubenstein Law, we will find all of the insurance, make sure your injuries are documented, and work to get you the best result. While each case is different, a well-known insurance company's own study showed people with a lawyer on average got more money. Call Rubenstein Law at 1-800-FL-LEGAL. When I helped design my line of AMF Roadmaster wheels, I said make them red, white, and blue to bear my name, Evil Knievel. You can see they're built solid, flashy, and hip, and the bikes come with these safety tips that bear my name, Evil Knievel. So if your kids are thrilled, I know just how they feel. These wheels are real exciting and bear my name, Evil Knievel. Evil. Hi, this is Evil Knievel, and you're watching Born to Ride.
Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you doing out there? It's the John and Heather Show coming to you live from our production studio, riding with this great bunch back here, Born to Ride. And speaking of Born to Ride, our guest on the show tonight is the one, the only, the owner, the CEO, the president of Born to Ride, the media, publisher, and television, our boss, our dear friend, Ron Galetti. The, the main uh, man. The man the myth of the legend. You, your wife, and just, just wonderful. Right, even though we're fairly new to the team, yes. we really enjoy the fact that you guys have welcomed us in with open arms. Yes. Well, you know, you guys are a big part of it, and um, we are a family, and, you know, we're just real with people. This is episode number 1,291, man. Wow. Did I say 1,291? Woo! On the 200th edition of the magazine, too. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, it's um, man, I mean, it's that's more than the Simpsons, man. They haven't even done that many, <laughs> many episodes of television. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on, but of course, with the COVID, it's it's slowed everything down. Yeah. So we're not, um, you know, we're not out trying to do every bike night in town and every event. We're just kind of sitting back and kind of homing in on what we do and uh, you know we're working a lot of things out with you know with our show uh, that was on tonight Born to Ride Live on Facebook and it also airs on Chopper Town goes out to almost 2.6 uh, million followers for Chopper Town so we're getting a lot more views and and eyes on the product and, and our, our um, you know our shows so people from all over the world are getting to see that and because of that, it's uh, bringing us more national attention. So, you know, when, when things get tough or a, a little bit hard for people, you got to switch gears in life. Yeah. And you, you got to be a little more creative and home in on your skills. We have the backup to um, of producing television for 25 years. So we have a lot of content that the world can see. And um, so so it's it's been fun doing that and homing in with uh, editor uh, of Born to Ride magazine, Dave Nichols. How the heck did you get started? And, and I mean, 25 years of this is phenomenal. Yeah. It is just fantastic what you've done and what you've built. It's like an empire. Yeah, you know, they, a lot of people will say that, but you're only as good as your last episode, your last issue, or your last anything. So. You know, I've got to keep pushing for tomorrow, but you got to have a creative mind. You got to have discipline. You got to be uh, able to communicate with others because you count on other people to be a part of a team to produce yeah. and and design. And uh, so it's a journey, you know. I mean, our kids grew up in it. Uh, in the early days, they were with us in the baby carriages and the play pens and stuff, and we had the tents up and. You know, they kind of grew up in the motorcycle world and now they're 18 and, and 19 and, you know, and, and I think they've learned a lot of good lessons being a part of the biker community. They learned probably some of the greatest lessons in life, um, say from a guy who would give the shirt off his back to someone else who needed it more or the last dollar in your pocket or what else I really like is um, that they got to see the respect that others held for their parents. People would come up to us and thank us or, you know, say how much they appreciate what we do. And it's the little things in life that, that we've always tried to do to help others when someone was down or, you know, we're a media company. So um, I think we have a duty, um, you know, to do the right thing with it. And we have to give back to our community, like so many bikers, so many of these other magazines oh. and media companies all do, you guys do it. The bikers have big hearts and it's our job, I think, to, uh, document the lifestyle in a proper manner and lead the way uh, as big goodwill ambassadors for not only motorcycling, but for life in general, that bikers were still breaking down the stereotypes that we bikers have always had. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud to be able to do that. And, and I think as long as you keep it real um, mm -hmm. to what you believe in and, and what you portray and what you produce, uh, what can people say about you other than you know, other than positive things. And if they're saying negative things about somebody, they need to look in the mirror and see who they are and or what they've done in their life. Because, um, you know, you just gotta produce and stay positive. 
I always like talking. I'm sorry. I always like talking to the people at the events when we do interviews. It's just nice to see somebody so interested in being able to give back. Yeah. You know, and I just love being able to get the stories about that. And I know one one thing you taught us is you're as good as your content, bringing it in and bringing the people in and showing the lifestyle and showing, like you said, having your kids grow up and seeing how you guys, how your parents are respected yeah. is phenomenal because you can preach it to them. You can tell them, listen, this is yeah. what we do. We, you know, we're, we believe in be helping good. others and paying it forward. But instead of hearing it, they do saw it. it. Do it. Yeah, they took part in it as well. And, uh, you know, they, we all traveled in the van, I remember. Uh, between the front seat, we'd put a cooler there, and Deb would sit on the cooler in the middle, all the way up to Georgia or Tennessee sometimes, <laughs> and the kids would chair the other seat. You know, so, you know, people don't realize the sacrifices we all make in life and business and, and to do anything, but, you know, th that's why it's the business we chose. So we have to make it work. And, you know, there's struggles, there's pitfalls, there's, there's mountains and there's valleys. and. You just got to keep doing what you do if you believe in it. You know, there's there's nothing but, um, you know, rewards from it. And it's the relationships we make along the way. Um, you know, some of the greatest times, some of the greatest people we've met were because of motorcycles. What well, well, the hell, we've been doing it for 25 years. So, you know, we've made a lot of relationships. But when I first started Born to Ride, I um, got fired from a day job that I had. And I came home and I said, damn it. Deb, I'm going to start a TV show. And she goes, what? <laughs> Deb was working, you know, for a corporate insurance company. And, and I said, yeah, I'm going to start this TV show because, you know, um, I had a I had a, a Suzuki 750 back in high school that I rode and then I got rid of it. And then I, um, Deb got a, a bike. She had a 91 Springer. So and I got one and I was doing wrestling at the time at Universal Studios. And all my friends were riding on Wednesday nights. I said, man, I'm getting me a Harley. So I got one and Deb got one. And I started saying, man, we put our bikes in this bike show. And these people are fanatical about their bikes, man. That, that lady just put $1,000 worth of bling on her bike. This guy's upset that he didn't win a trophy. And, you know, these people are fanatical. And this was in like 1995. Mm -hmm. I said, there needs to be a biker TV show, you know. Uh, came up with Born to Ride. The stars are shining bright at Crystal Harley Davidson. Jeff, Bo, and Craig are the Hog Stars. They are offering top dollar for your trade in. Push it, pull it, drag it, drive it, motorcycles, old cars, trucks, boats, side by sides, and more. The Hog Stars are ready to get you riding your new 2021 Harley Davidson in stock in our showroom now. Ask for the Hog Stars to get the most for your trade. Go to crystalharley.com to find out more. Hey y'all, it's Trace Atkins. One reason I'm excited about the High Seas Rally is their commitment to supporting our military and first responders. I'm proud to be helping High Seas Rally's Salute to Service mission, raising money for Wounded Warrior Project, and celebrating our heroes on the front lines. I'll see you in October 2021. Hey, that's the deal I was born. If Instagram is your thing, we're there. We're everywhere. Follow us at hashtag Born to Ride Motorcycle Media, your number one motorcycle resource. A biker destination like no other on the nature coast in a town called Inglis off Highway 19. 
It's the place that everyone is talking about. 21 acres of manicured, beautiful land for you. It's Crossroads Lodge at the historic Lebanon Station. This dates back to the 1800s. A totally incredible biker destination for you and your motorcycle. You have to see this place because once you do, you'll come back again and again. On the second weekend of every month, it's a free swap meet and flea market. For more information, call the number on the screen. It's a biker destination like no other on the nature coast in a town called Inglis. Crossroads Lodge at the historic Lebanon Station. And I, I was at doing a wrestling show in Ybor City one night, and the film crew came in from like Tampa Nightlife or whatever, and I said, hey man, how can I get a copy of that tape? You know, because everybody wants a copy of the tape from their stuff that they do. And I, I, he goes, well, here's a card and it was called Fast Forward Video. The next morning, I went I went to Tampa to this place, Fast Forward Video, knocked on the door and this guy came out, he goes, yeah. And he was from Argentina, his name was Henry Pina. And I said, man, I want to do a biker TV show. He goes, oh, a biker show, he'll never work. I said, so I tell you what, I said, I tell you what, give me your photographer, your videographer, and we'll go to Bike Week 95. It's coming up. And um, if we get, if we're going to shoot a demo tape, and if we uh, get get it going, you guys will be my production company. I'll hire you. And he goes, oh, okay. So um, I wanted, somehow I wanted to be at Bike Week in Daytona at sunrise. I wanted to catch the... Um, uh, the, like oh, endless summer, endless yeah. summer style shot with a biker on the beach for some reason with a silhouette into the sun. So we get there, it's like 6 a.m., the sun's just coming up. And I'm going, oh shoot, where do we find a biker at? And all of a sudden, pop, 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 pop. I go, ah. next thing you know, we're at the beach getting the shot. And you know, I got that shot I wanted. Later on in the day, we were at, um, on Main Street, and I was doing interviews and I was saying, We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Yeah. Didn't, even have, didn't even have a sponsor, man. But I just had that vision, you know? And the, my camera guy, he was from Argentina, and he was like, Ron, because that's, that's incredible. You don't even have a sponsor. I go, no, man, but we're going to do this. So, uh, yeah. so we got the demo done, and I started, you know, there really wasn't cell phones or really um, internet yeah. wasn't happening. I did get the dot com back then but it wasn't a lot of social media at all, nothing. So I would start faxing all the shops in Tampa Bay, it's coming, born to ride. And I went ahead and, I went ahead and had the logo, we got a bank account, we got incorporated. So we were legit. So people could understand that I'm serious. And then with my background of being in the band Nasty Savage and marketing that and the pro wrestling stuff, people kind of took me serious. Yeah. And uh, when the show was, when I had the demo ready to go, I started calling all these shops and they go, oh yeah, we heard about that. I mean, we heard about Born to Ride. Yeah, because I faxed you all that info. <laughs> so, um, you know, one by one, uh, you know, Fletcher's Harley Davidson in, in Clearwater, Bob Fletcher and JT and, and their whole family believed in Born to Ride from the get-go. And uh, another, another dealership was um, Barnes Harley Davidson in Tampa, you know, before the Furmans bought it. And uh, Ron and Ron Barnes and his brother uh, believed in Born to Ride. They took the tech tip of the week. And it's just those little things that you never forget where you come from. Yeah. And I love that, that you remember. Everybody in 25 from. years ago, you remember these important people and their that names and what they've done for you. 
Well, we, we try to. <laughs> it's important. And, and, you know, I never forget a face. And yeah, I, I have a, a lot of good memories. And, um, you know, you, you have to remember those things because it's, you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been, you know. And um, life's a journey, you know. But to be able to tell a story is, is, a, is a very cool thing. And that's really what I think I am mostly is a, a storyteller. We yeah. tell other people's stories. And it's very interesting to, to grab someone else's passion and tell it and make it a good story that they're proud of and other people like it. And, you know, but everybody's got a story. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be a celebrity. It's always cool. We've got plenty of them. But the real people, I've always said, Born to Ride is about you, the people, the riders, the biker community. And I could close my eyes and spin around in a big crowd and the first person I could go to, I could get a story because I am a storyteller. And it's yeah. about, it's about who are you, where are you from? Tell me about your bike, you know, your family, where you ride. Let's go for a ride. Let's park, let's talk about your bike and what riding's about to you. That's a story right there. And then you tie in charities and industry and you know, what's hot you know destinations and things like that you got to be creative to be a producer you know people want to be a, a radio yeah. guy on the show they want to be a tv producer they want to do a facebook live they better know how to tell a story to keep people interested i mean it, it's all good but home in on your craft if you're a painter take painting lessons you know whatever you do just try to try to do your best because you want the people who support you to get results yeah. And uh, ultimately, you need to get people results for what you do. And people out there, listen here. You know, John and Heather do a great job. These people have a lot of passion, you know, and 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 they really enjoy motorcycles. And they're they're people, people, you know, people who love people. And if you see their posts on Facebook, you see what they're doing. It's real. That's why they're a part of Born to Ride, you know. And and support this show. Share it and tell other people about it, you know, and, and support what they're doing because they're just an extension of, they might say they're extension of Born to Ride, but they're extension of themselves. And uh, we need more people like them to go out and be goodwill ambassadors, you know, for people. And um, I think that's really important. And I got to tell you guys, we really appreciate, you know, what you're doing, but I think it's cool that you're able to play uh, the Born to Ride content. So some of your viewers and, and followers can check it out. And I think it brings credibility that we work together in this manner, but it also to you guys for, for giving your viewers a different type of content. And when it comes time to doing a weekly show, it probably helps out when you don't have to edit an hour long show either. And you can use some of the content that can uh, be more, it gives you more time to, you know, to, to, to really get into an edit. And I think you're improving all the time with your editing, your shooting, and, and that's the greatest thing that we do is, is always want to get better and, and just tweak it here and, you know, and listen and learn. And, you know, and, you know, it's always storytelling. How do you tell a story? What makes sense? Sometimes it doesn't make sense at all. You got to go from backwards to forwards. And it's not always one, two, three, ABC. Yeah. The viewer gets what we give them. They don't know if we cut this out and moved it over here. So we have to do that to fortify our storytelling. And and if anything I could stress is a story has an opening and an ending and a middle is that is that me, you know? And it's really fun when you can nail that. And, and it, it's a challenge. I mean, it's like a surfer looking for the ultimate wave, man. He's never going to find it. Because if he does, he's done. When we lose that passion for what we do, uh, I think it that's when we're done.
You're here by the grace of your lineage. You stand on the backs of those who came before you. The defiant ones. Outlaws of adventure. Explorers of the unknown. Harley-Davidson defined the motorcycle. But it was you who challenged the destination and rode across comets. You who climbed uncharted mountains, who raged through desert sand, and faced the fury of ice and snow in the hope of discovering beauty unknown. You are the Pathfinders, whose hearts beat to discover new terrain and to find yourself all over again in the emptiness of an open road. It has always been your relentless spirit for adventure that's pushed us to take you further. Why call it adventure touring when it's human nature to seek beyond our limits? I am the Pan America, forever exploring. And I am here by the grace of my lineage. I am Harley Davidson. on the nature coast is crystal harley davidson with over 65,000 square feet invites you to bike night the second thursday of every month starting thursday january 14th 6 to 8 p.m free food while it lasts music and entertainment by dj trey bike games giveaways trading your motorcycle on the spot full bar with drink specials ride over with your friends it's bike night at crystal harley davidson second thursday of every month always ride safe and drink responsibly Hi, this is Johnny at JF Picks in uh, Rico, Florida. Uh, last Tuesday of every month, we're doing a bike night from 6 o'clock until about 10. This month, we have Swipe Right playing. Uh, we're, we have vendors out in the parking lot, uh, food and drink specials. Uh, if any of you re recall, we used to do uh, Gators bike nights back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, I'm just bringing that back. I'm the old owner from there. Um, yeah, hope to see you guys here. Thanks a lot. Come see us Tuesday night for bike night at JF Picks. Can't wait to see ya. Is your business becoming invisible? Create a great advertising relationship today with Born to Ride.